Hey guys, what's up? If you're from this channel already, not this channel, but the channel I'm talking about in this video, you probably have already know what's going on, but maybe not fully know, so that's why I'm going to kind of explain this video. And if you have no idea what's going on, and the title looks stupid to you because you're like, why would you sponsor a Fortnite YouTube channel uh, because you don't like Fortnite, uh, but that's the point. Let me explain that all right now. So, yes, it is true. I have decided to sponsor. I'm going to call it sponsor because I'm, I'm not sending money, but I am sending uh, some of this. We'll talk about that in a second. So I have decided to uh, sponsor a Fortnite YouTube channel. And the question some of you are probably asking, if you know, especially if you saw my Fortnite PC build where I, uh, I insulted all Fortnite players, uh, why would you sponsor a Fortnite YouTube channel? They, you don't even like the game. You don't even play the game anymore, even though you might start playing it soon just because it kind of looks interesting, even though building sucks. Um, well, that's because it's about opportunity. Uh, I'm not going to sit here emailing channels with a bunch of subs being like, oh, could you please accept my computer parts? Uh, they already have their own. But this channel uh, came to me first. His name is Assault Kiri, C-I-R-R-I. -R -R -I. That's how you pronounce it, Kiri. Not Siri, not Curry, not Curry. Um, I, all pronunciations I thought it was first, but yeah, Kiri. So he's like, hey, man, if you can help me with parts, I can help you with subs. I heard you want 10,000. I have 16,000. And I was like, sure, 16,000 subs. That sure is a lot. What can I do? And he sent me his specs. And let me just tell you, his CPU and RAM are terrible and motherboard. Um, he has 8 gigs of DDR3 with a core, not core 2 duo, some Athlon with two cores and four threads. And it's disgusting. So, um, I mean, he's got a GTX 1650, and he's probably going to get an A50 Evo from Samsung, and it's probably going to upgrade his graphics card soon anyway. So he's actually got some good stuff going for his PC, but I thought I could send him a bit of an upgrade. So I have six motherboards here. You can't see half of them, because if I point the camera any further down, the light is already bad enough. You will only see motherboard. You won't see any of me, which might actually be a positive for you. We'll do a tour soon once I get my setup cleaned up, which I do plan on doing, uh, getting my wires clean. Stay tuned for that. But I had to choose. What should I send him? Because here's the thing. he wants. He's right now getting about uh, 20 to 30 FPS. Uh, he's dropping that low. He gets about 100, then he drops to about 20 and 30. Uh, that's not good enough. For a competitive game, uh, you got to be holding a cons consistent FPS. So I was like, what can we send him that won't be so amazing that I can't afford it, but it also won't be so terrible that it's no, but there's no point in me sending it. So I was thinking at first this, which you can't even see. This is my uh, Asus board that I've kind of been disloyal to Gigabyte with. Um, and it's got my 2300X. That is a four-core, four-thread pre-built only CPU that I had to buy off of someone's pre-built. Uh, but then I thought four cores, four threads, yeah, that's enough, but honestly, I kind of like this, and I, I, it was pretty hard for me to get. Uh, then I was thinking something different. Now, this was a long shot and a half. This is 7700K. Now, this would be insane for me to send, but the problem is, this is, first of all, my only, my last 7700K, I gave the last few away, and um, and it is my one of my favorite CPUs actually, 7700K. Uh, and it was in my first pre-built actually. So I do kind of want to keep this, and it's also like 300 bucks, a um, little bit more than I'm willing to spend at the time. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, my other thought was the i5 8400. That is a six-core, six-thread, decent CPU. It's got a 2.8 gigahertz base clock. I could not send that. I looked. I even googled it. I'm like. Well, what's it like with the 1650? It is the it is the bottleneck. It is the limiting factor in that relationship. It is absolutely garbage. So I could not send that, uh, and also I'd have to buy a motherboard for it because it's actually an uh, HP pre-built. So that's useless. Uh, then I thought maybe like get a 6700K for for this motherboard. Maybe send it. Uh, didn't really want to buy a new CPU. Don't really want to send this, and that's a fetter for a so. I came to this. Now I have to actually change out the cooler. Because this is my, this is the cooler I came with. The I don't, I've switched these around, these two coolers. The 2300X is supposed to have this big one, and the 3400, 3400, oh, wow, I wish. Uh, so what I've decided to send is just this whole package. Now, minus the cooler, different cooler. I do want to send a shorter one, not only because this is mine, and it's bigger, and it's nice, um, and the CPU under it doesn't even need this big of a cooler, but also just look how much taller it is than the rest. So... What am I sending here? So this is a micro ATX board, which is fine. Uh, it's a fine size, got two slots, which is plenty. Three, actually, you get the 1X. And you've got M.2, which I heard you might get an M.2 SSD, which would be great. It's got plenty of power delivery and, you know, all your standard connectivity. 
uh, even enough USB 3 to go around. 4 is enough for anybody. But what am I actually sending? So this is my Ryzen 5 2400G. If you don't remember from my ultimate Fortnite budget build, it's the CPU I had in there. Now, that performed a little bit worse than I wanted it to, but that 1063 gig was running out of VRAM way too quickly. Now, the 1650 will be the limiting factor in uh, this uh, system, which was my goal, to make the 1650 the limiting factor, and then when he upgrades to hopefully an RX 590, which is, I believe, the next upgrade he's going with, he'll have a nice 170 FPS uh, minimum is my hope, minimum, um, so the 3400, oh, sorry, force a habit, 2400G is just a good all-around CPU, and even for troubleshooting, he does have onboard display, just in case he does have those integrated graphics, just in case something goes wrong with his graphics card, it's always good, especially for someone who hasn't built a PC, or maybe he's coming from console, to have a backup, uh, graphics card, you know, they can plug into the motherboard just in case, and it'll work, and just long enough for them to Google why they plug their thing into the motherboard, so, what else do we have on this board? So, I am only sending 8 gigs of RAM because it's the only 2 gig stick. It's only 2 gig stick. The only uh, kit that I have right now that really matches. Um, the So, I do have another... Let's see if I can get these out. So, another thing I have is you've probably seen these before because I actually gave a ton of these away back in the day. These uh, Data XPG kits that are super cheap. The, this is 16 gigs, but it's DDR4-2133. I really don't want to send these. Um, that would not be worth it in a 2400G. These are, I believe, 2666, which, yeah, isn't much faster, but it, I'm more comfortable sending that speed. And also, I got to get rid of this 8 gig uh, kit as well. And Fortnite doesn't take up too much RAM. And then I've got one stick of 8 gigs of Trident Z. And you need, with, with Ryzen, you need dual channel, so you need two sticks. And also, it's an easy upgrade to 16, which is really all you need. Pop in two more sticks of four, or just take these out, sell them for 30 bucks, and then popping a, a cheap kit of 16 gigs, so it's definitely an easy upgrade for him. So my my belief, belief, what am I saying? Uh, the upgrade path that I would recommend for him, uh, if you're watching this, Kiri, this is for you. He probably is watching this. It's probably going to be posted on his channel. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute, How what the deal is there. But basically, the upgrade path is, first of all, your CPU, motherboard, and RAM go from DDR3, crappy motherboard, and some Athlon-looking chip, to a 2400G, so that's four cores, eight threads, which is great, and some integrated graphics just in case, eight gigs of DDR4, and you'll have your 1650. Uh, first upgrade will be your 1650 to like an RX 590, which is a great, great upgrade, like 100 FPS upgrade. And then um, the next upgrade is your hard drive to an SSD, which you just get like an 850 Evo, or something like that, something pretty cheap. Actually, even a cheap like inland SSD will be so much better than a hard drive. And then finally, your last upgrade, uh, just some more RAM just in case. I believe Fortnite only can only take up like not even 8 gigs. Someone tell me in the comments below if I'm completely wrong, and tell me if you believe my choice was right here. If you think I'm sending a good balance system for what I'm getting, I'm getting uh, advertisement on a channel which, yeah, does more Fortnite content, but does bring me in a lot of views and a good amount of subs over time because he's willing to do actually a good amount of time with it, and we'll talk about that now. So that's what I'm sending, 8 gigs, and then the last upgrade, just pop in two more sticks or sell these and pop in two sticks of 8 each. But let's talk about what the deal is with the sponsorship. So... After reaching out and deciding, I'm just gonna because the thing I I kind I was I was gonna sell this. After the Fortnite video, I was gonna sell this for money. I wasn't gonna give it away. But even if I did, I probably wouldn't gain as many subs as I would from just getting a few months, I believe, of shoutouts. Now I'm relatively counting on about a month more of him. Uh, maybe posting it. He posted it in his community tabs and he posted it at the be beginning of his videos. Though some people are obviously skipping because he gets like twenty thousand views on some of his videos. So that's, that's kind of where I gets a lot of views. He's a very, actually, really good Fortnite player. And that's why I was like watching him. Like, he gets a lot of views. I am very fat. He gets a lot of views. So I'm like, okay, I'll send some hardware. It's better than doing giveaway. I have so much of it. Please let me get rid of this motherboard. I need to make room for the other motherboards I have sitting over there. So I'm sending this. I was going to send a graphics card, but I really... I can't send a graphics card right now. But I heard that he can actually get one very soon. So that'll be great. Um... So the deal is, I'm sending the hardware on Monday. Uh, this is going to be posted, I think, on Sunday or, or even the Monday I'm sending it. But I'll be shipping it out. Smaller cooler, fully built up in the original box. I'm basically just going to bubble wrap it, shove it in, and pray that it doesn't break. Worst case scenario, maybe a ram stick breaks or something like that. You just replace it. I'll send a replacement. That's at the point. Hopefully nothing breaks. I've been shipping PC parts for a year now, so I'm kind of experienced with that. 
But that's really it. That's kind of the story here. So it's a little bit of a sponsorship. I'm sending parts. Now, this is where I open it up to you guys. If you know anyone or you are anyone who happens to have over 1,000 subs, I'm not going to send you PC parts, but I might give you money. Yes, that might sound weird, but I am looking to just get anyone I can to come to the channel. I'm just looking to break 10,000 subs and maybe 20,000 by the time I have to leave here and uh, head out to somewhere else. Uh, Minnesota, please. But that's not the point. Um, we'll talk about that later, maybe on a different channel. But I'm just looking to just get as many people to basically know my name as possible, even if they have no interest at all. As long as they press that little red button that adds a little number to my ego, will be fine. So if you happen to have over a thousand subs or know someone with a thousand subs, I will pay money, PayPal. It's so much easier than shipping. I was actually going to offer PayPal originally, but like I, I've got no use for this. If I'm being honest. I, and this isn't saying anything bad about CPU. I have no use for a 2400G. I have the 2300X. I have these insane motherboards, a 7700K, which is the same core count, four cores, uh, eight threads. I've got, you know, 90 threader for 3900. I have insane stuff, okay? Uh, to Yes, I'm bragging entirely. So I, I kind of need to get rid of it. So sponsorship of a YouTuber who actually, you know, kind of deserves it. People like watching his content. People like watching him build. Cranking 90s, breaking desks, whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't play Fortnite anymore. I actually, I do know what it's called. I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I don't know what the terminology is. I have a friend who plays Fortnite. I built a PC for him, okay? Uh, 400 plus FPS he gets. And it was like 800 bucks. It's crazy. I'm insane. But that's the point. What, what am I even talking about anymore? So that's really what's going on there. In case anyone's wondering, because some people were actually questioning, like, who, who's this guy? Uh, the, you know, C-I-R-R-I kiri guy that all these people are like i came from kiri uh and he totally broke the rules of my giveaway and and made everyone start typing entry again which was very annoying uh but that's his point so that's shoelace on time that's the video that's what is happening it's a little bit of a sponsorship i'm opening up if you have a thousand subs or more or know someone who I and mean, this is the thing if you have 500 subs and you get maybe 400 views a video i'll give you 10 bucks you know i'll give you 10 bucks for every you know 10 10 videos Buck a video. I don't know. You know, I'll get. I, this is the thing. If you're looking for some, you know, PayPal, I'm looking for some subs. It's it's the uh, it's the mediocre way of buying subs. But that's the point. This is what I've got. This is what I'm sending him. I want, to, I want you guys to tell me what you think below. I would have sent 16 gigs of RAM. I do. I usually send 16 gigs. I just I want to get rid of this 8 gig kit, and this is my excuse to do it. Um, Carrie, I'm guessing you watched this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little chat that we had. I hate the lights. I know. Don't worry about it. I will not have it fixed anytime soon, but I will think about how I would fix it uh, by shopping on Amazon for things I won't buy. But that's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.